How's it going everybody? Mark here and welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. So today I'd like to talk to you about the equipped hammock bug net. Now you can find these at Walmart. I've used this on a couple trips, not necessarily backpacking trips, but just going out and hanging out in the hammock uh, and just relaxing. First thing I do not like about this is when you open this up, the stuff sack is attached. You know, just like a hammock, your stuff sack is attached. However, with this, I feel like you can get it a lot smaller and a lot more compact by putting it into, say, your own stuff sack. So if you wanted to, you can cut this uh, stuff sack off and put it into something smaller, a little more compact. Or if you're like me, you can just carry it around like this. I'm not an ultralight hiker. I try to get as light as I can. However, that's not my main goal. If this is gonna provide me a better night's sleep because it's gonna keep bugs out of my face, then guess what? I'm going to use it. So if you go to Walmart and pick this up right now and weigh it, you're gonna come in at about 12.1 ounces. Don't think that this is the best one you can buy because you can't. Uh, there's more options. There's probably lighter options out there. Uh, but this is a great budget option that you can pick up at any Walmart. This thing is very easy to install as well. It just slides right over the hammock, uh, almost like a tube. Or you can just throw your hammock inside of it, or unzip the door, throw your hammock inside, and just pull uh, the carabiners out the other end. Now what I've done is the the rope at the top, they're very thin uh, and they just seem like they're not gonna last long. I always carry 550 cord on me anyway. I just use 550 cord to string that above the hammock there. Now what I do like about this is that it has a nice wide open door. I wish it had two doors so you can go on either side, but that's me being picky. I mean, this thing is under 15 bucks. So, I mean, what do you, what do you expect? I do like the fact that the netting is very thin Thick. It's, it feels like a thicker, a, a more durable quality uh, than a traditional bug net that's usually on hammocks that tend to rip very easily. I have a mosquito net netting um, that's very thin and it just doesn't seem like it's going to last long. I've also purchased hammocks, um, not name brand hammocks, that have the bug netting on them. And within the first use, the bug netting is already starting to rip and tear. And this has been out on multiple trips with me, like I said, and I have not had any tears, any rips or anything. I do like how the ends will singe to the end of the hammock. However, I was worried because it's, you could easily pull the ends and then it just loosens up and then slides down uh, the hammock. So that's also an issue if you get in the hammock and it starts to pull a little bit and it just slides down the hammock, then you gotta get out and put it back up. So what I have done, when you send the bug net to the end, I wrap around the excess cord around the hammock strap and just kind of give it a little tie, nothing crazy, but that seems to help a lot um, with it coming apart um, when you send the ends onto the hammock. With me transitioning into hammock camping, because I just get a better night's sleep when, I, when I'm in a hammock. I mean, it's like night and day. Uh, every time I sleep in a tent, I wake up so stiff. Uh, I, I gotta stretch out, limber up. And I also wake up like 20 times throughout the night. I just don't sleep very well uh, out in the woods to begin with. On my most recent trip where I hammock camped, uh, I, I actually slept. I only woke up a few times and I slept like a baby. I woke up and I wasn't stiff. I woke up in a good mood, ready to hike you know, my five miles out. So if you're like me, who's transitioning into hammock camping, this is gonna be a great budget option. So let me know what you guys think about this bug net. Have you had a success? Have you had failures with it? Let me know in the comment section. Please consider liking and subscribing. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.